Hi and Assalamualaikum. Uh, we are from Group 5. Uh, we like to present about Islamic Treasury Operation of Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad. So, my name is Muhammad Amir bin Muhammad Razali. My metric number E273157. We like to start the presentation with the introduction. So, uh, nowadays Islamic banking uh, encompasses a wider range of uh, financial management practice that are based on Sharia law, especially in Malaysia. So, the goal of Islamic banking is the same as the conventional bank, but it does so by the following the Islamic rule for transaction, uh, which is called Fiqh al muamalat in order to uh, prevent the exploitative nature of the interest riba scheme. And one of the banks in Malaysia, which is Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad, sees the chance to enter this market and join the na nation uh, already existing Islamic bank. So in this bank uh, corporation, they have one department called Treasury Department, which functions as a department that manage liquidity of cash, risk available of funds, deployment of funds, and optimal utilization of resources. So these transaction, which are related to the banking product, they use cash money, and through this assignment, uh, we have focused on Treasury operation, which is to see how the Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad Treasury Department carry out their operation, which makes them one of the leading Islamic bank in Malaysia. And beside that, uh, we also focus on treasury product that are were offered by Bank Malat Malaysia Berhad. Next, let me present a little bit background of Bank Malat Malaysia Berhad. Bank Malat started on 1st October 1999 and is governed by Islamic Financial Service Act 2013. Bank Malat is give service to both organization and individual by preparing a big area of service as a fully fledged Islamic financial institution. So basically, Bank Malat provide customer a various of service. Uh, such as financing for things like personal use, home, cars, asset management, and other as. Uh, but they also have non-financial service such as Qur'ani learning, halal tours, and Islamic funeral management. Beside that, uh, through the number of their 68 uh, branches, Bank Mahmala is known throughout the country. And Bank Mahmala internet banking features such as I Mahmala and self-service Terminal SST, which are accessible uh, at more than 140 sites through his system itself. Uh, I think that's enough for the background of Bank Muhammad. I will pass the presentation to the next presenter. Assalamualaikum. I'm Nur Fatiha binti Allah. So I will continue with the overview of Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad. This bank was established as the result of the merger of three local banks, which is Bank Bumi Putra Berhad. Bank Commerce Berhad and BBMB Financial Section. So the second one is one of the pioneers in Islamic finance and banking. Since the bank is one of the pioneers in Islamic finance and banking, the bank is supported by scholars and religious parties who have extensive knowledge and high skill in Islamic legal and financial system. So next is provide various type of Sharia compliant products and services. So Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad also provide various type of Islamic product and services to local citizen as well as foreigners. Among the product offered to its customer are foreign exchange deposit, foreign currency trading, working capital, trade finance as well as Islamic capital market service. So the last one is received Best Deal by Country Award in 2021. They was given this award as the appreciation for their cooperation in historic Malaysian suku agreement with one of the largest development financial institution uh, that has won the Best Bank Award for suku. So next is the objective for this assignment. So we have three objectives for this assignment, which is the first are uh, to get the exposure to Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad Islamic Treasury Operations. The second objective we have here is to completely comprehend the treasury product offered by Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad. So the last objective for this assignment is to enhance knowledge of Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad Treasury practice by being able to define and differentiate across products. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Wan Aiza bin Muhammad Amin. Matri number 273404. For this video, I will present about the treasury product in Bank Muhammad. Firstly, Bank Negara Monetary AIMA. 
Ben negara monitor ignore are the Islamic security issued by Ben negara Malaysia that replace the Ben negara negotiable notes for the purpose of managing liquidity in the Islamic financial market. Ben Muhammad issued by Ben negara Malaysian notes which are the structure based on Islamic principles such as murabaha, ijarah and istimah. In Ben Muhammad, one of the time for the friend offered in this band is between 21 days and years. Finally, since it is issued by Negara Malaysia, there is no credit associated with this. The second instrument is the Bank Negara Malaysia Suku Ijarah. It's the new Islamic financial instrument has been announced by the Bank Negara Malaysia. The Suku based on the Al Ijarah. It was founded by the Suku Bank and Merha to issue Ijarah Suku. In Ben Muamala Berha, the debt arising from the asset repurchase is the securitized from the issuance of the Ben Negara Negotiator Not BNNN. After that, this security has been the issuance period of the 1 to the 3 years and they can be traded on the secondary market. Finally, it is not a credit risk because it is issued by the Ben Negara Malaysia. The third instrument is the Assetum Bill Islamic. This instrument is true in the 1991 which the aim by Negara Malaysia to encourage and promote domestic and international trade through the Islamic financial mechanism. It is also utilized by by Ben Muamalat Burhat. Guidelines for the instrument are also appreciated. The idea of the Al Buyun and the Murabaha Cost Plus. Serve as the foundation for the creation of the MBI, which is buying and selling debt. The certification for the instrument is developed by the Bank Muamala Berhad, included by minimum financing period of the 21 days and minimum amount is 30,000, calculate based on this counter. Hi, okay, I will continue with the next product offered by Bank Muamala, which is MITB, Malaysia Islamic Treasury Bills. Okay, MITB are a short-term securities issued by Malaysian government based on Islamic principles. MITB are usually issued on a weekly basis with original maturities of one year. MITB auction will be held one day before the issue date and the successful bidder will be determined according to the most competitive yield offered. Okay, in this auction, both conventional and Islamic uh, institutions can buy and trade MITB. The Murubah concept is used in the issuance structure of MITB. It is uh, basically a certificate of debt that results from a transaction when a commodity asset is sold at a different markup in accordance with Sharia. MITB can be traded based on a year basis based on the remaining duration bands. Okay, for example, at band 4, it has 68 uh, until 91 days to maturity. Okay, the standard trading amount is RM5 million and it is actively traded based on buy a dine principle in the secondary market. Okay, and also MITB also has a zero credit risk since it is issued by Bank Negara Malaysia. The other products of Bank Muamalat is Islamic Private Debt Securities, PDS, also known as Capital Market Debt Instrument issued by corporation in compliance with Sharia principle. Okay, uh, PDS are rated by rating agencies and may either be guaranteed by bank or on a standalone basis. Typically, it is uh, structured out of foundational contract like al Babita Ajil, Murabaha, or Mudaraba. Rating agency is the party who provides credit rating for various publicly traded securities such as a preferred stock, commercial paper, and corporate bonds. The PDS are rated using a system called yield basis, which quotes the price of a fixed income instrument as a yield percentage rather than as a dollar amount. Okay, this is easier to compare bond with different properties. PDS also has two types of maturity period, which is a short term and long term. Okay, the maturity period for short term PDS is between 1 to 3 years and for longer term is between 5 to 15 years. Bank Muamalat also offers government investment issue, GII, which is a kind of marketable government debt instrument that the Malaysian government issued in order to raise money on the domestic capital market to pay for the government's development expenses. It has a long-term interest-free government bond that was issued in compliance with Sharia ruling and also known as a debt instrument alternative for the government. Okay, the issuance structure of GII is issued based on the Murabaha concept that was effective from 22 July 2013. Okay, to enter Murabaha transaction that involves the purchasing and selling of commodities, the issuer must issue securities in its own name. Okay, the issuance uh, holding 
Sale and purchase of such securities must be based on the terms and conditions or guidelines governing the issuance. Before the use of the Murubah contract was introduced, the issuance structure of GII was issued based on the Buy Al Ina contract, which is a contract involving the sale and repurchase of assets by the seller. The same as Murubah contract, uh, the issuer needs to issue securities in its own name and the securities must be based on the term and condition or guideline governing the issuance. Okay, GII is issued through an open bidding auction by Bank Negara Malaysia acting on behalf of the government. Okay, GII also has zero credit risk since it is issued by the government. Okay, so that's all from me. I pass to the next presenter. There has been a significant increase in demand for Shariah compliant treasury product in recent years in Malaysia, majorly because these products are used as instrument in most Islamic banking institutions. Thus, the demand for treasury operation that can optimize this process while encouraging compliance with Shariah will continuously increase. Therefore, improvement towards Islamic treasury operation is necessary. In general, Islamic banking institutions in Malaysia can update their current system of treasury data entry to a better and more efficient system. This is to ensure that the existing system is managing to keep up with technological investment and not falling behind by using an old system that may be not up to date with today's technology and face many issues and challenges. For example, straight through processing enhance the efficiency at every stage of transaction chain. It is an automatic process that uses only electronic transfer and without involving manual data entry. Its most common applications are payment processing and securities trade processing. Next, recommendation specifically for Bank Mokmal and Malaysia Berhad is to always update their official website. During this study conducted, we found that Bank Mokmal has very little information regarding their treasury operation compared to other Islamic bank. Bank Mokmal can upgrade their platform for customer or analyst to assess regarding their treasury operation that will reflect on how they manage their liquidity. In conclusion, throughout this assignment, we learned that Bank Mokmal treasury operation is shy of compliant and utilize only Islamic treasury product. For instance, Bank Mohammed use one of its treasury product, which is Bank Negara Monetary Notes I, BNMI, in managing their liquidity. As new tools and investment are established, the system that support it must be able to confirm their compliance and ability to maintain a competitive advantage as new product and efforts are constantly developed and evolved.